Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and out and did it again. Today we have something special. We have eight courses that you should definitely buy on the 4th of July sale on Udemy.com. So I'm going to start with Progressive Web Apps and the Complete Guide. This is actually by Maximilian uh, Schwarzmuller. I don't know how to say his name. I wish I could say his name properly. I know he's like German or something, but the dude is pretty legit. Um, this basically touches on every single aspects of a progressive web app. Okay, it teaches you the basics. This is one of those courses that everybody should definitely take when it comes to 2018 and beyond because progressive web apps are the future. Even if you was trying to create applications for iOS or for um, Android or even trying to create something for you know what's the name of a Chrome OS which is the operating system for all the Chromebooks you definitely need to have progressive web apps because nowadays you can't install applications from the Chrome web store anymore the only way to do this is to actually have a progressive web app and Google is actually pushing for this okay now the next course that I will say is definitely take Polymer 3, code like a Google developer. Okay, this is a course that I created myself. This is a pretty cool course. It's straight to the point. It's not like I'm wasting your time. I'm literally teaching you guys everything that you need. And progressive web apps and Polymer go hand in hand. Okay, this is something that Google's trying to push. And this is the best course that's out there when it comes to Polymer, period okay definitely is uh, one of the top sellers is actually my best seller course so a lot of people are, are really enjoying this course so definitely go take a look okay the next one is flutter and dart now you probably think like hey joe what the hell we are web developers like why are we looking into this guys flutter is a, a very important framework It's actually something that google is also pushing out and trying to get people to to hop on the the Google Dart uh, bandwagon okay but what's cool about this is it basically you could create an application for iOS you can create an application for Android and basically use the same code okay it's very similar to react native but the only difference is you got to use Google's Dart programming language okay now this is a cool course because it just teaches you everything when I'm telling you everything 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 it teaches you everything <laughs> like this guy he really did a really good job you know there's a, a couple of people who have courses uh, out there I think Maximilian and uh, Stephen Greider have other courses on flutter but even after I took both of those I went back to this one and I was like yo they can't even compete with this one because this one just teaches you everything like the other courses that most people have out there you will have to take probably like a course on dart then from there take a course on on flutter and then from there understand a little bit more of animations and etc like you will have to take three four different courses now if you're interested in flutter I'm being honest this is the only course that you need period that's it okay and it has a, a lot of projects too so not only are you learning the syntax you're learning the way how there's a programming language of dart works and the flutter um framework works but you're also building real applications things that you can actually put into your portfolio and everything that this guy is teaching you is actually things that you could implement to your own applications your own ideas that you might have okay this is pretty cool okay the next one that i have here is Learn React by building real projects. Okay, there's a course that I created. This is basically me teaching you React, straight to the point, not wasting your time. Every single hour that we spend on this course is for a reason. You know how sometimes you go and take a course and it says, "Hey, 34 hours, 24 hours of content," and some people think like the more hours that you have, the more value that you're gonna get. A lot of times it's just a lot of filler and, and, and stuff that you just don't need okay so definitely check out this course if you still don't know react I would definitely recommend this one okay 
The next one that I have here is Angular front to back. One thing that I like about this course from Brad uh, Traversy, you know, Traversy Media, if you guys don't know by now. <laughs> so Traversy Media also created this course, uh, which is pretty straight to the point. And this is how I like courses. I don't want nobody coming in here and wasting my time and giving me uh, 74 hours of content. And then in reality, you just don't need all, uh, all of that information, especially when you're just starting to learn a framework or are starting to build applications you don't need a whole month of content <laughs> trust me you just don't need it you need something that's straight to the point it's going to teach you the things that you need and it's going to allow you to go and start building your own applications especially this is really good for a situation where you are coming from react or you're coming from Vue or you're coming from somewhere else right and you're like okay uh in my area they need angular developers okay so I need to learn Angular in a weekend. So this is perfect. This is perfect to just learn it in one weekend and understand how things work and, and you know, build a, a very simple project that, you know, is going to be good for your portfolio. And at the same time, it just gives you all the tools that you need to be productive at the job. Okay. The next one that I have here is a classic. This is like straight up classic right here. Nobody on the internet has a better JavaScript course than this guy for the simple fact that he went so deep so in depth into javascript like nobody has ever done this this is the reason why this guy has a hundred and eight thousand students enrolled this is literally the best javascript course in the internet period okay like nobody could compete with this guy okay is is very hard to compete with this guy <laughs> he really did a, a a really good job when it comes to JavaScript, okay, understanding the weird parts. Like, if you don't have this, this is something that you use like a encyclopedia. This is like a, a dictionary. This is like something like the documentation. You know what I mean? Like, you should always have this as a reference to go back into different topics, okay? Another thing that I have here is learn and understand AngularJS. Now, I know a lot of people thinking right now, Joe, but isn't this like angular one like why would anybody be studying angular one in 2018 guys you are a junior developer right you go to a job interview they tell you hey we're looking for a front-end guy cool they tell you actually our back-end is in .NET or back-end is in uh, node.js or php or python whatever it is but our front-end is in angular and the first thing you think is, like, oh, yes, I took Angular 4 and 5 and Angular 2 plus and whatever, right? I, I know Angular, right? But when it comes down to it, you don't know Angular 1. So one thing that's going to happen is they're going to ask you, hey, do you have experience with Angular? And they're going to tell you, hey, what version they're using? And they're going to say, hey, it's like 1.5, 1.56, 1.6, 1.8, whatever, right? whatever version they're using but it's they're using angular one okay that's the main point <laughs> it's the main point that they're using angular one and you've never used it before okay there's a very good course that teaches you angular okay so definitely check it out it's by the same guy anthony alicea uh one thing about that dude is like he's straight to the point he goes in to the deep end when it comes to to topics like he, he's not only teaching you how to use something he's teaching you how they actually built it and why they built certain things on it okay so it's pretty cool all right the next one that i have here is the ultimate my sequel boot camp go from sequel beginner to expert i know once again somebody's saying joe but mongodb is so great why would anybody use my sequel guys that's what you hear online. That's not the real world. Like, let's let's walk away from whatever you see on the Internet and understand that everything they see on the Internet, 99.9999 is bullshit. Right. Most companies use MySQL. Most companies use some type of SQL uh, database. Either you got like what, like MariaDB, you got um what's the other one man this there's, there's so many of them sql server like it's a, it's a lot of stuff out there guys that people use okay uh postgres i mean 
once you know MySQL, you definitely can understand Postgres and all the other database. But MySQL is the go-to for every single company. And not only just for web development, but anything that has to do with a database, most likely they use MySQL. So when you come in and you say, oh yeah, I've, I've done some, you know, some MERN, uh, applications and everything that I do is like, you know, straight from the JavaScript world. And it's like, bro, that's not the real world. It's like maybe, you know, five, 10 years from now, maybe that'll be the norm. But the norm right now is my SQL. MongoDB is super easy, guys, but SQL can definitely be challenging. And I think Coast Steel did a very good job when it comes to this course. Um, the projects itself, they're a little bit, uh, but it's, you're not here for the projects. You're here to learn SQL. Like, I'll be honest. You're not here for the projects. You're here to learn SQL. And this course does it really, really well. Now, guys, all of the links to all of these courses are going to be at the bottom of this video. So pretty much just like in this video, you're going to click here to show more. And there's going to be a whole bunch of links here that's going to help you become a web developer. At the same time, it's going to have the links for every single course that you see here. And when you click on that link, automatically you are helping us here at codingphase.com just to move on forward and, you know, just support the channel. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to put it here as a pinned comment for those of you guys that don't want to check out the description is going to be in the pinned comments. Okay, guys. Anyways, man, make sure you go subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the website. If you click on the link below, as you guys can see, you could click there. Automatically, you get 50% off on everything that I have on my website. Okay. You got over $855 of courses. You could get every single course for just $10 a month. And that's it. Pretty much no questions asked. You could cancel at any moment. You could do whatever the hell you want. You could buy a yearly, a lifetime. It's up to you. Okay. Anyways, guys, support the channel, support what we're doing here. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again.